Greetings fellow mayors, this is Captain Obvious, and welcome back to Noye Port City, a narrative gameplay experience. Let's do a short recap. In the previous episode, we declared that we wanted to have all four industries, DLCs, including the unique factories, within just two game tiles. Establishing industries DLC in your city will secure your city's income for quite a long while. However, industries will always have traffic, more so when they are clustered into just two game tiles. And to anticipate the traffic from this compact space, we created what I call an inception interchange because this interchange manages traffic from four industries and traffic from outside connections for vehicles to enter and exit your city. And now we will continue Noyuport's journey by adding the two final industries, which are oil and ore. Before we start, let's quickly glance at the main city to check for any major mishaps. And immediately we see garbage issues that are accumulating. And that is simply because these garbage facilities will have to travel quite a long distance just to pick up the garbage by the canal. Therefore, we will create a connection so the garbage trucks can reach these areas much more quickly. Okay, now that that is connected, I am pretty confident that all our garbage issues will be addressed uh, soon enough. Oh, if not already. And now the other issues that we have are these, which are not enough educated workers, which is causing our buildings or commercial buildings to abandon. So let's investigate what type of education we are lacking. So we are missing higher uh highly educated citizens so let's check this one and that's pretty much the same thing so let's go ahead and check our education level so if you check university you can see that we have more than enough ample space or capacity for for students to enter the university however if you check the high school and elementary it is quite low so therefore we actually don't have enough high schools in order for sims to progress into a university therefore we will create or add in a few more high schools okay for now i just literally plop them down we are not thinking of a design for the moment because there's like so many things that i want to do uh, for instance, this episode is mainly about establishing our industries and we're also going to populate the other side of the canal. Okay, so what else do we have to look for? Uh, it will take time for the citizens to get educated so we can now just ignore um, all these alerts. Alright, let's check our landfills and cemeteries if they need to be emptied or are emptied and need to be set to fill. When a cemetery have over 1,000 stored corpses is when I usually set them to empty. And if a landfill is over 50% filled is when I set them to empty. Traffic wise, we are at 94%, which makes our 22,000 population quite a healthy city with a positive income. The city is now self-sustaining which allows us to simultaneously focus and build both the oil and ore industries with minimal interruption. We will start by adding toll booths and these booths are not meant to earn extra income. They are just to add aesthetic sprinkles in our industry areas. We'll go ahead and start adding in the ore and oil industries and the main goal at this moment is just to have them reach the fifth maximum level which will unlock all the structures for that industry type. So for now, we will not concern ourselves with layout or design because it is completely pointless and futile to do so when you just have level 1 structures available. So let's free ourselves from overthinking and just plop everything down without a care in the world until we reach the max level and only then is when we can de redesign the entire thing. Okay, let's slow down and check what we have so far. So let's check out these uh, aesthetic sprinkles. Look at that. I love these toll booths. 
you you really gotta have them in your city uh, so again these toll booths are not meant to earn income it's just aesthetically pleasing to have them but if you are concerned about the tiny hiccups when they uh of traffic when they cause for instance this it slows down a bit and if you have more vehicles definitely it will start to add up so if you are worried about that what we'll do is we will make these into automated tolls which is a city policy where vehicles no longer need to stop but it reduces the income by 30 percent which is absolutely fine let's go ahead and apply this right now so all you got to do is just make this into uh, a district and click on the policies go to city planning then we will go to automated toll booth and there so now let's observe the vehicles when they come in all right here's one coming notice how it just went right through without even stopping so there are not no longer any hiccups which is what we want so we have a aesthetically pleasing uh, entrance and we could extend that just by simply doing this and we will apply this to all other areas and then you can just delete the and we are level two that is great let's just finish this so you can delete this and you can apply just using one district and just at, you know like spreading it apart and then just deleting the between all right so these guys went to level two. Oh, this one yeah this is now level two and so if we look at our available buildings we have level two structures and again we are just going to continue to plop down more buildings until we reach level five so again we will not care on how this is and if you want this to level up much quickly uh, quicker you just need to plop down more more processing buildings and our oil area is also now level two so i will also continue to add more buildings just so that it will level up much more quickly and hopefully we'll be able to finalize the designs sooner rather than later okay now let's check what we have and what you are looking for so in terms of workers uh, to reach the next level the level 5 is actually 800 so we have more than enough workers and the only thing that we will need to wait for is for this to uh, produce resources I think which is about 13,000 so you could actually just leave and work on another area of your city until this reaches the right amount of produced resources and that's about the same with the ore industry so if you take a look at it we have 800 of 62 workers yeah we definitely have more than enough so we could actually just leave this alone and this will also continue to con uh, get more uh, produce resource which will level up the structure and okay we're already at level three soon enough we'll be level four and level five while we are waiting let's go ahead and slowly finalize the road layout of the ore and oil industry Aesthetic sprinkles like parks also includes tow booths, which are a city's version of a welcome mat because every cozy home needs a welcome mat just like every city needs tow booths. So what I want is a bridge to connect the two industries together because we plan to mix in the unique factories within these areas. And because unique factories requires different resources, a bridge to connect them together is definitely necessary. And take note that all the while we are constructing this, I am aware that this is the border of our map. And I have no intention to unlock tiles next to these, so we are building in a confined space. And we also want to avoid aligning roads and buildings parallel to the border. So when we go into cinematics view, we will not have a hard line that makes it obvious that we are on the edge of the map, which is the mistake that I made in Season 1 Let's Play series. Modded players are saying 81 tiles will solve that, but for now, our first airport's industries map, we will stick to 9 tiles so we can see how much we can fit into it. But for the next season, I will meme call it, hold my beer, 81 tiles is here. 
according to our city's demands, we require more residents. And this looks like a great spot to add a small, low-density residential housing for our industry workers so they do not have to travel so far to go to work. Again, notice how I am avoiding to make anything parallel to the border. And all the while we are finalizing our road layout, both the oil and ore industries are now level 4 and as I mentioned, as long as you plop down a sufficient number of processing buildings that provides up to 800 workers, you will not need to micromanage your industries. They will reach the maximum level 5 on their own. And we are now a grand city at 24,000 population, but it does not give us a new tile to unlock, which doesn't really matter at the moment. Let's take a quick look at the industry progress and we have or we just need a few more produce resources to reach level 5 and that goes the same for our ore industry. This requires uh, slightly a little, a little more and uh, when you level up it actually unlocks more unique factories and we only have these two which uh, requires a level 5 oil and level 5 ore and you definitely want to make use of the unique factories because it is the best way to earn money in city skylines and let's check out our import it is at zero for our oil our ore is also at zero percent uh import is also zero our while our farming actually has some importing because this is pretty much not finalized and that is also because we have a specialized industry so these specialized farming are no longer necessary, so I will go ahead and dezone and demolish them. As much as possible, you only want industries DOC, offices, and sprinkles of generic yellow industries. I think sprinkles is my new favorite word for this episode. At the time, since we couldn't afford more farming industry structures and we didn't have enough, mo uh, enough highly educated sims to zone offices, so we created this specialized farming industry just to pacify the industry demand. Alright, let's keep going. With the unlocked unique factories, let's go ahead and plan a final layout which will be mixed within our industrial areas. This is just to give a variety of different structures instead of using repetitive extractors and processing buildings that can get dull really fast. Since I am mostly relocating the structures and instead of deleting then repurchasing, this time lapse will be exceptionally quick. But not to worry, we will definitely have a closer look at the layout when it is completed. And we just hit the maximum level for the oil industry. Now we just have the ore industry to wait for. Speaking of which, what we are working on now is connecting the oil and ore industries together with this eight lane bridge. Both industries have direct access to the main highway to deliver or export resources, but the purpose of this bridge is to exchange the special resources that are required from the unique factories. Here is where it's a little tricky because the oil resource is closest to exit the industry area, then enter the interchange to go to the main highway. When what we want is to first deliver the extracted oil resource to the processing buildings, then enter the highway. Traffic wise, this is going to be tricky because there will be a lot of crisscrossing of trucks, which is not something that you want. Therefore, I am going to create an alternate rear route to remedy the order of travel, which should reduce traffic. So this is a fine example of how to logically approach traffic management in city skylines. When there is traffic in the city, most mayors would first try to solve the issue by squeezing in a roundabout. Are you, the viewer, guilty of that? When you have traffic in your city, do you try to solve it first by adding a roundabout? Then when that fails or doesn't help as much, do you then go to traffic manager and try to remedy the route? Whereas the actual solution is to fully understand the traffic flow, knowing the origin and destination of vehicles. Not to say that roundabouts or traffic manager doesn't work, 
What I am saying is that most mayors try to solve their traffic issues in the wrong order. So as much as possible, first try to create a smooth traffic flow. Then you can combine that with the use of traffic manager and or roundabouts. And we just hit the max level of our ore industry. So we now officially have all four industries in their maximum level. And we also have all unique factories unlocked. The current state of the city is self-sustaining. We have been at peace developing our industry area while the main city should not have any major issues. And now with four max level industries, we will continue to maintain a self-sufficient city by developing a stable economy with Industries DLC. Our oil industry have a great mix of structures when we have various and multiple unique factories built alongside the oil processing structures. What every oil industry needs is a farm of mass oil tanks, which we will establish in the rear end of the industry area. Storage facilities creates traffic unless you set it as fill. Then the traffic will be temporary until that storage is full. And this elevated path is a direct route to the oil tanks from the oil extractor building. Then, from the oil tanks, the trucks may go to the processing structures and eventually it will lead them to exit the oil area and enter the highway. For the most part, our oil industry final layout is complete. We just need to do our minor detailing by planting trees and setting some rock formations. Then we can analyze if the oil industry area is functioning as it should be or if we need to do something to remedy any potential issues. Okay, so let's check out our oil industry area. So we could see that we have a good mixture of buildings. So the processing structures are mixed in with the unique factories and these guys really do blend in together. It's almost hard to recognize that this is the oil industry. And yeah, it goes further on this side. So these are all unique factories and we have some sprinkles of uh, processing buildings there. And of course here we have our oil tankers and a few more processing structures. I even added in this uh, large warehouse that fills in metals. And speaking of fill, every storage facility here is set to fill so that there is no further traffic until it actually uses some of the uh, some of the oil and let's check out our uh, extractor area so this one i made it in different uh, levels so this one digs down a little further so this doesn't necessarily need to be on a flat surface so doing this actually makes it look a lot better and uh, so you see these things that says not enough buyers for products you actually do not have to worry about this especially when it's a in industry structure because they will never abandon but if you have those on let's say the offices like this then that is an issue because they will abandon and yeah so i definitely added some offices offices here just to kind of mix things up a little further and what else oh yeah of course the unique factories i will set them to the maximum production rate at 150 let's see if i miss anymore okay so i guess that was the only one that i did not do so now let's talk about traffic uh our traffic flow is at 93 94 but this is slightly concerning there are slight hiccups so there are ways to kind of solve this um so what I like to do uh, vanilla wise, the first thing is actually utilizing this asymmetrical uh, three lane road. So let's apply that now. And the important thing about using this is knowing which side should have the two lanes. So for instance, this, uh, this building, uh, its attachment is on this side, I believe, or, or the other side. Let's actually, we could flip that, I think. Okay, probably not, but it's definitely on one of those sides so on this of course the only way to attach it is through there therefore so
so having the two lanes on this side there you go it came in here so it makes more sense to make the second lane or two lanes on this side of the road so you need to understand which direction it is so for instance this so we have all of these are the way to enter and same goes with this so this side has no buildings that, or no trucks that need to go on this road therefore we will maintain this as the single lane let's go ahead and apply it to the others and use the same logic okay so as for this road so this is our extractor building and i mentioned the flow of traffic right so there is the extractors which want to first go into the processing buildings or the storage facilities and then exit the uh uh, the industry area so this connecting here may, may be a bad thing because it creates uh, further traffic on this side so in order to promote trucks to go here I created this route as, as you can see it is making good use we could further uh, enhance that by making it into a highway so that more people will be using this if they need to access the the storage facilities okay and we still have some hiccup traffic here so what can we do it's uh, actually you you need to understand uh or prepare and plan things for your city i already know why there's traffic i could see it um and what i see are ore trucks look at this there is an ore mining truck here which does not belong let's actually look at where it wants to go so it's going this way in order to enter here so that is the problem the problem is this is not properly connected so this is why it's going in that direction so we need to fix this actually complete this so that they do not have to take this route just to enter here so that is the importance of planning ahead before actually just building so before we created our oil and ore industry the first thing i did was plan this uh, inception interchange and even this so this is already prepared for our forestry and farming so that this will not happen so yeah as much as possible always do your infrastructure first transportation uh, speaking of transportation we may add in cargo i say may because it's not completely sure um we could opt not to add cargo but uh, almost always i add it um this side here i kind of stopped on this end because the cargo may go all the way on this side or i may relocate this again and then this actually is a great area for a campus I, I was just thinking about that and of course this road will kind of like finalize itself and we will have to replace this so this will most likely connect there and all right so let's go ahead and fix our ore industry so that we could have this traffic dissipate so sometimes uh, the way to fix traffic is not within the actual area but somewhere else in the city okay we are nearly done now we just need to finalize the layout for the ore industry. We will be using the same concept where we mix in unique factories to blend in with the ore structures. By mixing buildings together, we reduce the likeliness of having redundant extractor and processing buildings in one area. Also, we try to utilize every structure available in each industry type, including the storage facilities. And if there are any empty spaces, we can simply try to squeeze in a barracks or maintenance building, which are great space fillers. For the extractor site, I use at least one medium mining crane and one large bucket wheel or mine. Then everything else are the large and medium underground mines. I would prefer that this is a larger extractor site, but we are working with the space provided and at a corner. We are also doing our best not to align roads and buildings to the border, so there's a lot of things to keep in mind while developing this area. We now just have a few unique factories to squeeze in and so far, our road layout looks natural as they can be with what little space we have. I am also quite pleased on how we maintain to include tow booths, which is a really nice touch. 
And lastly, we have the Shipyard Unique Factory, which requires to be by a water source. Since the shipyard constructs luxury cruise ships, I tried to squeeze in a ferry depot that we can connect to have a ferry line along the long river. But since it doesn't fit, I didn't want to force it, so we may try again in a future episode. Alright, we are nearly done, or at least it looks like we are nearly done, but you always have to check how the industries are doing. So far, we have zero import, but my concern is that our metals end. Oh, there you go. So we have uh, some import simply because we ha are we require more resources than we, what we are actually producing so we need to add more metals and another thing that i want to do is so i think we should add something here this seems really empty i know i plan to do something here but i think it'll be nice if we add in a just a generic large warehouse these things are actually quite good for one thing they're they're they are cheap to maintain so if you check this one out it only costs you 240 to maintain. So we're going to fill that and we are going to use the unique factory products. Uh, this one will make it a little different since this is the oil area. We'll actually add in petroleum and this, uh, let's just make this random, but always set it as fill. We'll put this as commercial goods. So this is going to cause some traffic because all the extra resources are going to go there there so for the meantime we're going to go ahead and also remedy this area so this will take up and down but i want it to be consistent where it's zero import and we want to add more metal so the options that we have are the rotary clean and the ore grinding mill so these are the only two that creates uh, metal and this is extremely large and we don't have space for this anymore so we're just going to resort to using this and while we're at it i think we can add in a a garbage dis, uh, disposal area so uh, we're going to plop this one down here i'm going to put a incineration plant and then we'll add another just to put it in between and we're going to place down a landfill so it kind of makes sense that they go together here and it seems like we have space for another oops let's uh, increase the size of this okay uh let's go ahead and make a goal all the way here because uh, this area seems they don't have enough friends so we need to add uh, more objects on this side so let's see let's add a few more things okay we'll just move that up oops that is the wrong road type Okay, uh, what do we add here? We could add more of this because this is definitely what we need. It creates cracks on our area though, which I am not a fan of. So let's actually just extend it a little further and then move them a little further out. So we could probably fix the terrain here ever so slightly and uh, i think that's the best you can do for now fortunately we have a good uh theme that we have here so it it's not it doesn't look as bad yeah i really love this theme um this is an issue it looks odd i mean this is realistic there are uh some slopes like this in real life but i think we'll be more comfortable if this was a little more uh, thick so uh, let's do that now okay so that is looking good uh, we also have some space here but let's check if that is necessary so we have now 38 tons of metal which is a lot more than 11 and this appears to be holding and our profit is now 18 i think it was like less than 10 before so adding those uh, few extra processing buildings actually helped uh this is maintained um this is doing oh it's 100 percent full already that's wow that is quick uh let's check our traffic flow 
and it is a uh, whole 94.95 uh, let's check this area it is orange which is great we have a few dead people here i think we need to add at least another or do we even have one no we don't but well, we only have one here so let's go ahead and add another uh, another crematorium to help pick up the deceased uh, over there and uh, checking again yep still zero uh, this one still zero absolutely great and i think that wraps up our area so it yeah it is looking good so our uh, inception interchange is doing quite well the traffic on this end so we had issues where there's so many trucks coming from the other side and since it is now connected they don't have to go here anymore which is exactly what we want so we controlled the, the traffic so it used to be red but now it's uh, more of orange and that is yeah it's looking good so if you guys enjoyed that, if you like the design, uh, put your comments down below. Yeah, look, look at our extractor area. Not bad. A good mix of uh, buildings and structures. Uh, I could do more detailing such as adding fences and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, I, I really do enjoy the functionality uh, of creating a city design comes like a little after but in the same time i am still thinking about that where i could just add it towards uh, the end part yeah going here so it's going uphill going underneath this bridge and we got this there and they connect here yep it looks absolutely great and we also have this extract area on different levels got some rocks uh, yeah it looks great all right, guys. Again, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys enjoy the episode, make sure to comment down below. Give a like. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Y'all take care.